there was some federation that was pro-Second Amendment, pro-family, wanted to go to space or something, that'd be different if I didn't have to give up my sovereignty. What are the bankers doing in Europe? They've had their operatives get in power, sign the country on to the globalist debt, and now saying, we'll implode you totally if you don't waive all your rights in perpetuity, not even to a central government, but to the private banking dictatorship. Oh, Goldman Sachs has conquered Europe, global government by banks. Oh, the New World Order. I mean, you know, the, the establishment is endorsing Newt Gingrich, just like I did with Romney and the rest of them. Pro-abortion, open borders, gun control, wrote Obamacare, on and on and on. As our economies are transformed by the third wave, there are, they are compelled to surrender part of their sovereignty. What do you always hear all these leaders saying? We've got to give up some of our sovereignty. In globalism, yeah, things have gotten bad under it because you haven't given us enough power, enough bailouts, one more. Let us use the troops in America and Europe. Poets and intellectuals of third wave states sing the virtues of a borderless world and planetary consciousness. Total new world order, borderless crime syndicates getting away with anything they want. Nations are firewalls against Hitler's, Stalin's, Mao's, and people like that. That's why you want countries, because there's always somewhere to run to. But not with one global standardized, synchronized system. And uh, again, I covered it on the radio yesterday. There's so many books he wrote the forewords to. I'm trying to remember which Alvin and Heidi Toffler uh, one uh, he wrote that to. I want to give you the exact one. It's in our article. And, and again, it's got quotes in here, bad-mouthing the Founding Fathers. You just go, go read go read Watson's uh, article, or just type in Newt Gingrich forward to Alvin and Heidi Toffler books, and uh, you'll get just and his other writings and the Futurist Society he's part of. It's unbelievable. Now, oh yeah, he wants socialist health care the whole nine yards. Uh, here's another one. Newt Gingrich also supported federally mandated health care coverage. Uh, this is out of the daily uh, costs. Uh, they're saying, wow, Bill Clinton's coming out praising him. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some, of the, uh, some of the quotes of, of the communitarian. Uh, here's another one. Newt's World Order, Gingrich supported GATT, NAFTA, and WTO while in Congress. I mean, you, do you want me to continue uh, with all of these? This is what we're dealing with. This is the type of monster. And, and, and again, you've seen Clinton come out and say, oh, he's got a reasonable thing on open borders. Ladies and gentlemen, we, there are six billion, seven hundred million people that want to come here. And we might even be able to take another five hundred million or so if they don't get on welfare right when they get here. The country is bankrupted, which is what the bankers want. And they want dependent groups. Do you understand this? Anything the globalists are for, I'm against. Gun control, open borders. You heard them. It's about lawlessness. It's not about building up China or Mexico. It's about driving everything down. And by the way, the jobs are even leaving Mexico now to China where they have people jumping off their roofs, committing suicide so much, they've got to put suicide nets around all the buildings. I mean, this is hell on earth, folks. Globalism isn't meant to empower, it's meant to enslave everyone to this globalist system. So I'm gonna play you a clip. Which one do we have first, him being endorsed by Clinton or the one with Nancy Pelosi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First is Pelosi, then, then Bill Clinton endorsing him three days ago. Now, here's Nancy Pelosi with Newt Gingrich when they were trying to pass the carbon tax bill, federal home inspections, shutting down all our major factories, just devastating cutoff of our power. Here's Newt Gingrich endorsing this globalist operation. When China and 100 plus other third world countries have to make zero cuts on their carbon dioxide, we have, you think America's in a cardiac arrest now, you ain't seen nothing yet. And it shows how I hear all over neocon radio. Neil Borch, Rush Limbaugh, all of them. Newt Gingrich is great. Newt Gingrich is good. Folks, they've known about Gingrich and NAFTA and GATT and, 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 and before that gun control and weird Illuminati socialism and borderless planets and, and collectivism and the end of nation states and all the weird stuff he writes. And they're like, oh, he's so intellectual. He's so smart. And he sits up there with that smug, you know what, eating grin on his face of the psychopaths. That guy is such an enemy of this country. You, you people think, think you're going to get out of this with Newt Gingrich. I mean, give me Obama. He's horrible. He's evil. He's a teleprompter reader. But he's nothing compared to Gingrich. And Obama's worn out. Obama's exposed. They'll bring in this guy. This is Mr. False Flag right here. He loves to say, are you ready to lose a U.S. city if you don't give up all your rights? 
He sits there and uses fear. He goes, oh, let me see how dumb the public is. Let me see how I can manipulate him. He is a traitor and an enemy of free humanity. That guy is a Lenin Stalin if he can get away with it. You ought to read his other quotes. I covered the show yesterday about power and seething and his global takeover. He's ex they go, oh, you're a psychopath control freak? We'll, we'll, we'll. But again, he's just a ringer probably for Obama, though. But a lot of people, uh, Joseph Curl at the Washington Times wrote a good article about it. Is Obama trying to lose? You know, you know, maybe they want Newt Gingrich. Maybe they want to give him all this power. All right, I'm going too long here. Let's just go to these uh, uh, clips here of, 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 of the liberals endorsing him. And that me, and they're not even liberals, the fake fascist, you know, the fake liberals who are really fascist, they're all running to support him. That's who they want right now. Is it because he's a ringer or because they know it'll continue the agenda? Now, here is just more of the scumbag Newt Gingrich. We don't always see eye to eye, do we, Newt? No, but we do agree. Our country must take action to address climate change. We need cleaner forms of energy, and we need them fast. If enough of us demand action from our leaders, we can spark the innovation we need. Even Bill Clinton, rather, is pouring in on the praise for Gingrich's thoughtful approach to immigration. Take a listen. He thinks about this stuff all the time. He's articulate, and he tries to think of a conservative version of an idea that will solve a legitimate problem. And it just goes on and on. You can find the full interview. It just goes on and on. You can watch the full ads. That's when they were trying to pass it. I mean, I read that bill. We covered it. The, 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 the climate system wasn't just that. It was a total federal takeover. They don't care. They just signed executive orders and are moving forward. Folks, this country's got cancer. You better wake up. Continuing going back to the Middle East, <clears throat> North Africa, neocons planned regime change throughout the Middle East in North Africa 20 years ago. Let me just go back to Gingrich for a minute. Please get this video out. The information you just saw. Please get it out to everybody. Warn these poor, sick, bamboozled people that follow the Republican leadership who demonize Ron Paul. Please, all the fools that worshiped Obama who are now apologizing to me, good. At least you woke up. But we don't have time to be conned again and again. Genrich and Obama, they're all evil. But Genrich is an actual Illuminist operative. I mean, he, that guy is a demon. He had a wife dying of cancer. He came in and talked crap to her and divorced her as she was dying, as she begged him. He's a papa psycho. Those of us that have feeling need to stand up against these dark ones. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Folks, don't, we're going to beat them, though, because we had the jump on them historically. They're going to bring the tyranny in, but that's when the victory starts, because people aren't going to wake up till it gets really bad. You think what you've seen so far is an awakening? This is only the beginning, and you people, I wish we could stop it before it gets 100 times worse, but at least in the darkest hour, we're going to beat these people. When you realize you've got nothing left to lose with them. With them. Whew, man. Oh, man. Nothing like a Nelly fat-ass psycho demon. I'm sorry. I, I, I just... Mm. I pray to God to bring justice to this man. I'll say that right now. I, I pray to God to bring justice to this person. I don't pray for God to have somebody do something to New Gingrich. I pray that God open up his eyes and make him humble. All right, I'm done talking about that little sissy. All right. Ugh. God, how could you take America and want to destroy it and bring in evil and re-education and break up families? I mean, he's just a scumbag. Another scumbag that Barney Frank stepped down today. Barney Frank. I'm going to talk about him coming up in a moment. Another sack of pus. Man. I get so angry. I, I can hardly continue here. There's a big article breaking down all the admissions they planned all this decades ago. It's all staged. And Al-Qaeda is their excuse to go into the countries when they actually use Al-Qaeda to overthrow them. And hell, land of the slave, home of the cowards. They love it. Okay, continuing here. Uh, we've got a Wesley Clark uh, clip where he was talking about how this was planned a long time ago. And Pakistan's, of course, completely freaking out right now. Before we go to this Wesley Clark clip, they're having their military bases bombed by NATO as the globalists prepare to start war with them. Uh, let's go ahead and go to that uh, clip of Wesley Clark. Here it is. He pulled up a piece of paper off his desk. He said, I just got this memo from the Secretary of Defense's office. It says we're going to attack and destroy the governments in, in seven countries in five years. We're going to start with Iraq, and then we're going to move to Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran. 
I said, in seven countries in five years. I said, is that a classified memo? He said, yes, sir. I said, well, don't show it to me. He was about to show it to me. He said, because I want to talk about it. And I, I, I sat on this information I, for a long time, for about six or eight months. I, I was so stunned by this, I couldn't begin to talk about it. And I couldn't believe it would really be true, but that's actually what happened. <clears throat> it's funny, uh, open source general, you should know, I was the former head of the major NATO operation in Serbia, you should know was the Israeli plan in 82 and 84 and adopted as the war plan after 1991. That's how we knew in Obama deception that Libya was next. People are like, how are we always so accurate? Because we've got a stinking roadmap. I mean, it's uh, so you go to a play and, oh, up next is this scene. I mean, it, it's not, not rocket science. Uh, let's get into the Euro. Uh, one of the big writers over at the um, Financial Times of London has uh, predicted that the Eurozone has 10 days left at most if total power isn't given to the banksters who engineered the crisis, of course. And I thought I would just look at this Economist magazine. Rob Jacobson uh, likes to read it, and I like to read it as well. It's kind of the globalist, thinly veiled propaganda. But they're pretty honest in here, and I've got uh, some of the quotes in here uh, in, in an article titled, Minds Like Machines, Governments by Experts Sound Tempting, Especially in a Crisis. It Can Work. So they go on to say, it, it can work. This is really good. And then they go on to say, just like Newt Gingrich always talks about technocracy and technology, that's what Lenin did. Technocracy was once a communist idea. Oh, really? Borderless systems, the end of the family? Really? You mean you mean government forced health care, where they also control health care that Gingrich endorses? You mean it's communist? I thought that was just over in Russia. Technocracy was once a communist idea with the proletariat in power. Administration can be left to experts. Technocracy and autocracy have been natural bedfellows. Oh, autocracy. And, and, and Time Magazine, Newsweek, you know, get rid of the Constitution. It's the problem. No, getting rid of the Constitution allowed this to now happen. Technocrats rule big chunks of public life. Central bankers are one example. Oh, look, in the article, it just goes through here. In fact, I've even got it highlighted here in my article. My little copy. Oh, they're now oh, they do run it. And I've literally seen hundreds of articles last month going, it's a banker coup. It is, they're going to have a world government. They just got the idea. The bankers are going to have a world government and they're going to have tax enforcers that run your country and your country will have no sovereignty anymore. It'll all be run by them. They don't add the people that set it all up, the fraud, and put their people in over your government. It's a espionage, infiltrator takeover through financial fraud. But that's okay, because if you got a big heart, you're for it. You're, you're for open borders so the globalists can just get rid of all your countries. If you got a big heart. And it goes on, even highly political governments set up independent or bipartisan panels to make difficult decisions. So we don't need Congress to do those bills anymore. They have a super committee, such as closing military bases. You know, I told you that commission would fail, because when it fails, then they just automatically do whatever they want. It's all lies. Such as closing military bases, setting electronic boundaries, or making spending cuts so you can pay all the money to the bankers. They create independent agencies to run everything from health care to education. Oh, yes, they're very independent, filled with the corporate cronies. They create independent agencies to run everything from health care to education. They put outside experts in top jobs, <laughs> yeah, the Goldman Sachs people in every position, such as the Economist Larry Summers and the Clinton and Obama administrations. Oh, he's independent. Got rid of Glass Steagall to do all this. I mean, this is like saying they hired, they hired Joseph Goebbels to be independent in the trial and prosecute Hitler. They hired Mrs. Santa Claus to to prosecute Mr. Claus because she's independent. They hired Santa Claus's son because he has nothing to do with Santa Claus. I mean. Just, they, and, and, and intellectuals think they read The Economist. They, they get it and they, oh God, I'm going to repeat this around at the corporate meeting and sound really smart. I, I, I'm so smart, it's just incredible. Okay, I just can't take it anymore. And, but we're still the bad people because we predicted everything that happened with precision. It's those crazies that think there's going to be a global government run by international bankers. You know, the crazy ones that, yeah, 